Hey guys, what's good? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Hope everybody had a great weekend. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, how to effectively and utilize an online course, how to effectively follow and get the most out of online courses, UI, UX design courses like mine or any other course you see on the web. It could be at Udemy, it could be at Treehouse, it could be at any other XYZ company that provides online courses for you to learn and to, to absorb and to grow from. All right. Uh, I got this question last night. Mike, I love your course. Should I be following a particular plan? Is there any way I should be? Is there any, uh, is there a study guide or a study plan that I should be following? Great question. I, I, and I get this question a lot. Um, there's several ways you can approach this. One, first off, there's no right and wrong on how you follow an online course. Every course teacher, every school, every leader has different ways of going about teaching. I, in my, in my case, I teach the way I like to be taught. All right. I don't have a course plan. Everything is learned at your own pace. And, um, that's the approach. I don't have any test plan. I don't have any test that you take at the end of each section that you gain a little certificate badge. I don't do any of that. Why? Because, and I kind of digress here, but me personally, that's not how I like to learn. I don't like tests. I was a bad, um, test taker in school. Uh, I failed horribly at my SATs and it just, to me, it, and it, it was one of the reasons why I left school early. I just was bad at taking tests. I wanted to learn the things I wanted to learn at that particular time, which were the essentials. So if I had to, I, that's how I live. That's how I go about my, my life. I don't want to learn things that I don't ever need to know for the rest of my life, right? I call that useless information. I know a lot of people in my life, I have a friend who just knows he knows everything. And I'm like, dude, you have a lot of useless information, right? Like he knows the distance between, between Pluto and the earth. I'm like, bro, if I ever need to know that, I'm going to Google it right at that particular time. Maybe it's 10 years from now. Who, who knows? The point here is I'm sort of like a learn at your own pace. And that's how my particular course is. It's a learn at your own pace. There is no certificate. I don't want you going in looking for a certificate. Why? Because a lot of people who go in looking to pass this particular test, they may pass the test, but don't really know how to effectively do that thing in the real world. Right? So do not go in looking in my, in my opinion, even if the course that you're taking has a certificate at the end of the day, go in looking to absorb the information, utilize it and apply. But let me explain to you how to go into a course like mine or any other course. The first thing, just go in to absorb the course. That's number one. Go in, absorb it from top to bottom and just consume the information. Don't try to mimic it. Don't try to apply it. Don't try to practice it. Consume it. If it's a concise course, consume that information as you go. When you get into the point where things start to become repetitive, then you can start testing. But in my particular case, I would absorb, my course is broken into three sections. Absorb the first section. All right. You don't have to take notes. You the, the material is there. You don't have to take notes and all that stuff. Just kind of watch it and reference those videos um, as you need, but consume the information. That's number one. Just consume it. Just get an idea of what this course is about and what this particular author or teacher is teaching you. All right. In most courses, they're teaching you how to design. They're teaching you how to, how to develop. A, um, they're teaching you the process. They're teaching you how to design, how to create a project, right? Once you do that, then after you kind of consumed it all, then go back in and start mimicking and start applying the things that the particular author or teacher is teaching you, right? Just to make sure that you can perform that particular action. All right. That's number two. All right. Thirdly, what you want to do is after you kind of made sure that you can apply these things, um, you don't have to go through the entire course, every single pixel for pixel. You just want to make sure that you can apply these things and you're absorbing the information and you're kind of gaining, you're kind of understanding what the author is doing and you kind of know, Hey, I can, I can perform that action, right? The last step is you want to, at the end of the day, after you've consumed that course, you, the goal of that course is to apply what the course teacher is telling you. In my case, it's apply these skills to your own personal project. 
from that point on, it's a slow grind. It's a slow pace. So basically you want to start small and start applying these things to a personal project. All right. Ultimately the goal of the course, the goal of the course in any course is really to teach you the skills that you, you can utilize to the point to where you can get a job or get clients. So in my case, the goal is to consume my information, know how to do the things I'm te teaching you, then apply them to a personal project. Ultimately, you're gonna start small, maybe it's a one pager, maybe it's a little five by five little square that you wanna just design some UI design elements, okay? But the ultimate goal is to design a full project, eight to 10 pages with interaction that you can, you can apply uh, through a prototype like Envision and whatnot. So you want to apply those same ideas that I teach that any other author teaches you, apply it to your own personal concept. I call them personal projects. Think of it as your own concept work, right? Think of an idea, think of a problem that you have with some particular app and apply those same things to a project. That's, you wanna do that 10 times over. So if you have 10 projects, now you have 10 awesome projects to post to your portfolio. Ultimately, it's about building, knowing how to do these projects, putting them on a portfolio so that you can showcase that to recruiters and hiring managers so that they know that you have this particular skill that you can apply to their company, all right? That's ultimately what the goal of online courses are. Again, learn at your own pace. Why? Because I might have 50 videos in my course but ultimately, there might be one friggin' video in that course that gets you the money. It might, and what I mean by that is you might go through all this information. You don't have to, you don't have to know everything, but if there's one particular thing that just that aha moment went off, and now you can apply that and you've you've done some projects and now that took you to ultimately landing a job, getting a client, <clears throat> you've just benefited from that particular course. And as you go, if there's a question that needs to be answered and you haven't fully followed the course completely, go back into the course and see if you can get that question answered. If there's not, um, ask the author, ask myself. And that's how I would say you need to learn. Learn the essentials, apply the essentials, start slow and grow from there. All right. So that's my advice on applying anything you learn online, any course, uh, whether it's mine, Udemy's, Treehouse, doesn't matter what course, YouTube video take the information, apply a nugget here and there, and go with it. And as you have questions, get those questions answered as that time comes up, all right? Don't go in looking for a certificate, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the things I talk about, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that bell to get notified. And as always, if you wanna learn more about what I do and what I teach, click on that information icon. You can learn UI, UX design, get started today and growing your skills boosting your earning potential. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk soon. Peace.